Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and I think it's time for another episode of Jerry Rigged. In this episode, we're gonna take an old hard drive and turn it into a safe place to store Bat Knife. No, 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 Bat Knife, Bat Knife! Maybe we'll even get a little help from Hot Glue Gun. So I bet you're wondering, how in the hell can this do anything for this? Well, you're about to find out. All right, well, you can see I have a stack of hard drives here. These are all my old hard drives that basically went in my discard pile. For one reason or another, they need to be destroyed. Well, I gave it a lot of thought and decided there are a lot of cool uses for these things after they're dead. Here you have a Seagate 80 gigabyte Cheetah drive. This thing, a SCSI interface, don't even use SCSI anymore, so that's why this thing's in the pile. So this is gonna be the first one that we cannibalize. So let's go ahead and take it apart. Well, first off, you guys are gonna need one of these. It's one of the little star bits, otherwise known, I believe, as torque bit. And uh, for some reason, all the hard drive manufacturers use this type of screw. It's probably to deter people from taking them apart because you're more than likely to have a screwdriver laying around and not one of these. All right, so on this particular drive, we need to remove six of these screws. Now keep in mind guys, this will void your warranty. So make sure this is a drive you don't intend on getting replaced because uh, once we take this cover off, it's game over. Just wanna break that seal. Whew, this is a stubborn drive. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. There was another screw in the center of the spindle. Oh, and I found another one right there. Wow, they hit a lot of screws on this thing under the label. There we go. The lid is off. Now the insides of hard drives are very beautiful. You can see how polished the platters are in there. That's where the data is actually stored. And then there's a little magnetic head that reads the data off of the platters. I mean, this thing's a thing of art. But now we're gonna harvest some of the treasures within. This drive contains a pair of very powerful magnets. As you can see, this piece was just held in with magnets. That's it, it has a giant neodymium magnet right there on the back. And if you look in the bottom, there's another one right underneath it. We want those magnets. Neodymium magnets are expensive. Why beat them up and shoot them with a gun and throw them in the garbage when we can use them for stuff? All right, we wanna get that bottom one out. So this one we have to actually pull out the, the little torque screws. Now these drives all come apart a little bit differently. This is probably one of the easier ones I've done. So just be patient with it. Worst case scenario, just get in there with a the pry bar. All right, we've removed the screw. Now we can go ahead and pull the little reed head out of the way. Yeah, it's that little guy. And now we have access to the bottom magnet assembly. And now you can see we have two incredibly powerful, and, I'm, and I mean incredibly, guys. I almost can't pull these apart. Very strong magnets. And we're gonna put these to great use. Another cool part to harvest is the platters right here because they're really, really pretty, and we can actually use those as coasters or just decorations. Okay, so to get the platter up, I'm just gonna pull all the little screws out of the platter. Now this specific drive looks like it only has one platter in it. You'll find that most drives have two, three, or even four platters. And there you have it, one mirror platter. You can see how shiny it is. It needs, it needs to be polished up, obviously. But you can see that's actually really, really pretty. You could use that as a drink coaster on your desk. You could use it as a wind chime, really cool stuff. Now, if you really wanted to go for broke, you could actually go ahead and pull this pressure fit bearing out, and that is a very smooth bearing. So you could use that for something else also. But we're not gonna use that in this episode, so we're done. If you want, you can even take the lid put it back on, seal it back up with all the screws, and then give it to your friends just to mess with them. Oh no, I just realized I bent bat knife. No! No, 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 bent knife, bent knife! All right, so now that we got the magnets removed from the hard drive, we wanna remove the magnets from these little carriers. They're just glued on there. So just get yourself a wrench or a pair of pliers, put it in a vise, and just gently bend it. You can see the, you can see the magnets starting to lift. Be gentle with it, these magnets are easy to break. Okay, now that we got an edge lifted, we'll pry it. Okay, just using a pair of pliers, get on there, and just lift it up. Now, unfortunately, you can see I did break one of the magnets, but it's not a big deal. It'll still serve our purpose. All right, guys, now we're under my desk in the nerd cave. You can see right here um, all my work from the previous video with the hot glue. We're going to use the hot glue once again, and what we're actually going to do is we're going to mount the magnets right here and right here. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and glue these magnets in place. Put a little bit of hot glue up there. Now I'm not gonna get all super cosmetic with this because I really don't need to. Gluing around the edges, give it a little extra hold since it's gotta hold a fair amount of weight. These magnets are very, very strong though. Then we're gonna put the next one right about here.
give it a good firm push kind of do it like a caulking gun get all the way around it you want this magnet to hold really well to the desk if you ever have to remove it just heat it up with a hair dryer so what we want to do is we want to get something we basically want to cover this with a rubberized coating hey we got a hot glue gun well, how about that here I'll show you another little trick okay so basically I just tore off a little piece of, of cardboard you could also use uh, something else but I wanted something I could throw away since getting hot glue on it just go ahead and put a whole bunch of hot glue on the surface and before it sets up scrape it just like so now when that dries that's gonna put a rubberized coating over the top of the magnet so it won't scratch anything now if you take your time you can do a better job than I'm doing but I don't really care since it's hidden under my desk as long as it's not scratching things up I really don't care okay we're gonna go ahead and let that dry now we're just gonna pick off some of the little boogers and now the magnets have a rubberized coating so you're not just rubbing metal on metal all right let's give it a try all right so the hot glue is nice and dry now everything should be working so here let's give it a demo with bat knife there's bat knife just reach under there pull it down it can just stay under the desk nice and simple easily accessible you can put it at literally any angle to make it like ergonomic for you to grab at all right you can see from the front of the desk here you can't even see anything then you come down a little bit lower and there it is completely concealed well guys as you can see sitting on my desk now I can just reach right under my desk and I got bat knife when I want to put it back you come there and the magnets grip it. It is a super powerful magnet too, so it has no problem. You don't have to reach around, you don't have to feel anything, it just, boom, it's there. Works really good, and now I'll always know where bat knife is. Because I'm constantly losing this thing. And as an extra added bonus, remember the little platter? These things make awesome drink coasters. Because you can never have too many places to put your beer. And if you ever want to recover the data, you just take the platter, put it back in the drive, Put the spindle bearing back on there, attach this, put the circuit board in, realign everything within a Micron's Nat's ass in a clean room, and you can get your data back. No, not really. That's totally, it, it's gone. I told you it was gone. If you think you're getting your data back, then you're not. You're just not. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Jerry Rigged. Basically, we're taking neodymium magnets out of old hard drives and repurposing them. You can use those magnets for literally everything. I wanted to do something a little unconventional and store a knife under a desk because I haven't seen it done before. I think it's kind of cool that you can just reach under the desk and you have access to a knife. To, to attack all those new egg boxes. If you guys want more information, check the video description. I put a lot of good stuff in there. Also, I have tons of affiliate links down there that when you use them, you help the channel. Well, I still have a huge stack of hard drives right here containing tons of magnets and tons of platters. So I'm gonna go through those next week because I need me some more drink coasters and I wanna put like 45 knives under my desk. Cause that, that seems entirely safe. If you guys have other ideas and cool uses for these magnets, please put them down in the comments. And if you made it to the end of this video, please comment hashtag, I made it to the end of this video, Jerry, isn't that awesome? Wow, these hashtags are getting long. All right, guys, it's time to wrap this up. Until next time. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also, come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself.